So we are at our first home, both to be honest. Hey guys, before we do get into today's video, we did want to show you guys a photo book that we discovered called Chapbooks. We thought this would be perfect to add to your coffee table or nightstand to share your memories as an open book. These books can make an amazing gift, and the best part is that the books start at just $10. What I loved about their app is that it's easy to use with your social media. You can sign up to have books print automatically every time your social media has enough photos. You already know we always look out for our Us Always family, so all you have to do is click the link in the description box for 20% off your order using code ALWAYS20. So thank you to Chatbooks for sponsoring today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to Us Always. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below, turn on your post notifications, that way you get notified every time we post a new video. <laughs> okay guys, I am still a little sick. Well, I just have like the mocos and a little cough, but nothing too major. It just sound crazy. But today we are going to be doing something exciting. I did tweet if we should take you guys along with us to go house shopping and so many of you guys that's why i said we need to do it out here so many of you guys were like yes 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 is that even a question so we want to go back to the homes that we fell in love with we've been looking at homes for like three months yeah three, four months. and we never recorded anything so now we look back and both like i like this one the one that has this and that and i'm like uh yeah i don't know because we looked at so many freaking homes so we're gonna go back to them yeah, and actually it, vlog it now it's literally only between like three i think spots yeah basically yeah. like four no nah, like three, three. The majority oh, i'm excited to take you guys along with us and the new year is approaching really really soon because it hurts babe your mustache hurts i told you but the new year is approaching really really fast guys and you know what that means that means that we are closer to being able to buy our new home once we file our taxes it's a wrap yeah. oh my god but anyways, me and Serenity are looking so cute. Ira, bebe, we matching. A ver, cheese. <laughs> but we're excited to take you guys along with us. So we'll see you guys when we get to our first home. So we are at our first home, both to be honest. What I really love about this model is the double doors. This, this is the is main the thing. And this is the one Bo really wants, which I love too, but I really do want a two-story, you guys. But let me just show you guys well, how, how open, open it, it looks, like. okay? So as you enter the door, look how open it is, guys. Like, the spaciousness of this is goals. Right here, you do have, like, the formal dining room, which we love. This right here would be, like, for only big parties, like Thanksgiving. Just something nice. And then this is the whole ass living room area. So I think that's to the garage. See, look at the kitchen. Look at the kitchen. Like, this is hard. Yeah, see, the kitchen is huge. Me and Bo do put the kitchen to use so much. And we cook together a lot. So our main thing is we need a big ass kitchen. Yeah, but they always say, like, if you entertain people, the biggest thing to have is a, a like a big, big kitchen because big everybody's kitchen. always in the kitchen anytime you host something i really do like that the kitchen is super big guys i like that it has like the stools that you can put on the side because i always have the kids eat literally on the counters i don't know just this like this our, whole vibe is and then it has a secret office oh yeah the secret office is in here that's where you can do all your editing this is a secret office and then there's a pantry do you and I, like, pantry too? I do like that it is an open, I mean a walk-in yeah. pantry. Que paso? So this house can be made up to six bedrooms. 
and this would count as a six bedroom. Yeah, they would keep, they would, I think they would be in like a here, but cause they would make this a whole restroom and everything. It would be a whole nother room. Yeah, but I really love how huge this is. I think I would just keep it like this and just have it like a playroom or something. Can they keep the pool table? <laughs> <laughs> look how big this is guys and then if you just keep it like this then it would come with like a powder room right here the and then there's another closet huh no they said they would make it a walk-in closet a walk-in closet it would, a, it would be a guest suite yeah but if you leave it like this this is what it would look like yeah see but i wouldn't mind having a game with it like foosball pool table <laughs> Like a game like Sunday football. Yeah. When you go over there and meet the guys over here. And then we would have like a cute little table right here. And I really like how big the living room is. You could get a big ass couch, you guys. Also too, open like this, it makes the house look ten times bigger than it actually is. It does. It this house literally small, does. But because it's so wide open, it makes the, it gives it the, the illusion that your house is huge. And then I love how it comes with like big open windows right here. That way you have like a whole bunch of natural lighting. Look how bomb this lighting looks, guys. Oh yeah, the house is the speakers. Speakers throughout the whole house look. Parties. I don't know about this whole thing though. I like this. I don't know about this whole thing. Like I really that? like that, yeah. But it I... also comes with the invisible wires. Everything goes to the back. If you notice that. Yeah. Vente, mommy. Vente. Come on, mama. Okay, and then right here, you do have the laundry room and you walk into the master bedroom. The first opening is the restroom and you do have this one like sink. Most important thing is the restroom. Yeah, the restroom is like my thing. And then you have another sink right here, which would be bows and then a whole ass bathtub and then a shower. The thing that's gonna sell me is the restroom and the closet. Yeah, the master bedroom. And this closet is pretty big, guys. Like, this is what we need. Can they the dance in here? Is it turquoise? Let me see. See? Let me see. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> yeah, but. As you guys can see, this closet oh, is super it big. The, the selfie mirror. Yeah, we definitely need this. So you can we put definitely. Your hey, 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 hey. My main thing is I do want a separate shower and tub. And I do like the double sinks. And then the master bedroom, guys. I do need a big master bedroom. See, this, this master bedroom is cool. It's pretty big. This is like the biggest one of all the houses I've ever seen. Except for the custom This one's pretty big. And then it comes with the shutters, that's another thing too. And then I like that it leads into the backyard as well. Our master bedroom leads to the backyard. You guys are gonna be hearing me sniff a lot because I am sick. So this one is, I think, five bedrooms. So there's one, oh, all the other bedrooms are, and it's split wing. That's another thing, that this house is actually split wing. So the master's on one side, all the kids on the other. So now we're walking to the other so side. So you walk in, all the kids on the other side. The door's right here, the right, the right side. side. So that's one bedroom. So this Three. bedroom would probably be like Serenity's right here. It's decent size. Decent size. And then there's another closet, which is what we need. There's a restroom right here. And then this would be Damien's room. Well, JJ wants to get the biggest one. And then this one is the biggest one, so this would be JJ's room. Wasn't there one that comes with the restroom? Yeah, that's the other houses. Right now, it's a one, two, five, one, four. two, four bedroom. What? How can they make this a six? This. Oh, yeah. Nah, we need this open like this. But I think I would keep it like that. Like this? Yeah. If we get this one, I think we would keep it like this because I really like that this is open like this. I want to have a separate living room. The thing now is that kids, like like Damien and JJ, like we have our two living rooms. So we're used to them playing in one living room and they play their games and I'll be in the other living room watching TV. So I kind of like the two living rooms. Like I feel like that's a need because I've got accustomed to that. So this is our first home, guys. So we're going to go take you guys to the next one. It's actually in the same environment, but the other one is two-story. But you'll see the difference right now. The layout, the color scheme is so ugly. So it just makes the whole house ugly. Yeah, if it was the color scheme of, of this one it would be legit i love the double doors this is the only one that comes with it. walking in here you see the difference is it's only one door yeah it's a long door 
it, but it is a tall door, yeah. And we asked about double doors on it, but they said no. They said no, they can't make it. So you walk in here, and I felt like just this whole color scheme is so ugly to me. Yeah, that's too, there's like too many colors everywhere. It's like orange and browns and beige but you do have like the first living room just walking in here but it looks more like claustrophobic instead of it being so open so you have like the first living room right here and then you have the dining room area right here you can walk in this way which will lead into the kitchen area all these houses have like a secret office oh yeah and you need an office yeah for sure so this would be a little office right here and this is the storage what I like about two-story is we have so many freaking toys guys that we can just store everything in here Not and just that, it has the kids can play in here look it goes over here and it goes around yeah so you walk this way and it does lead into the kitchen yeah. so there's a walk-in oh, pantry this, this <laughs> There's actually cooks in there. And then you have the whole kitchen area. One thing that I did like about this kitchen is a little griddle. Look at this. I make tacos, hamburguesas, pancakes, whatever. That's tight. So can you guys see me and Mo up in here? Let's see. All right, guys. Welcome back to an Us Always Food Vlog. <laughs> so today we're going to be cooking tacos. I mean, this kitchen's not too bad. No. What I do like is... Right here is a sink, and I was telling Bo if we do kind of get like a, uh, a yard kind of similar to this, I do like that we'd be able to put a place it out here because our goal is to actually build a pool again for our new home, but we'll see when that comes. Oh, yeah. This one does come with the pool out there, which I'll show you guys, but I really want a place it. I kind of want it separate, like grass area and separate. That way I can have a place it and I can like be doing what I have to do inside here and then also be letting the kids play outside. I really do like this setup right here. This kitchen does look a little bit small. I do like that it does have the stools because like I said, the kids love to eat on the counter. And then it has like a little area for you to put like a little dining table. But if you look outside, guys, this... <laughs> house does come with a pole already love gazebos too. i like the gazebo i think we need a gazebo so let me tell you guys something too so you see how that house right behind is a two-story that's the worst thing because the house we live in right now we have six back neighbors and two has two stories so if you ever want to get a little kinky you want to go skinny dip or whatever you basically can't because Look at the masters right there. You got people that are going to look right at you. Booty naked. It does come with a tall door again, like to the backyard. So I do really like that. And then right here is the whole living room area. And then all the way over there is the front entrance. I don't know. I kind of well, do okay, like so this home the, too, though. There's two, there's two of these at a different location. And the other location, the loft is way better. Huge, yeah. The other loft has a bar. But the rooms were hella small. Yeah, but the loft had a legit bar. And that yeah. Was like... But I do like this area right here. I feel like it's like more homey to me. You have all these windows for natural lighting. And then you go up there and you could see like the whole loft. And then it's like the stairway. Uh -huh. I think this is so cute. I would put a little court right there. That would over there like that. So can you imagine this house with like color schemes of white, light grays, you know, like that would look so cute. Yeah, but I kind of feel like it's selling me. Carpet, I tile. tile, yeah. Like this house marble, is selling me. You gotta think marble, all white, marble with like a dark, a little darker color walls would look sick. Can't do brown or yellows and creams. I don't know, yeah, it's not me. This would have to be like the all white. All this is white like my mom. Cabinet. This is like my mom. Remember when brown cabinets were in though? But that's why all this white with black cabinets would look sick. And then you go down here, all the way further down, and then you do have the laundry room. I do love that this laundry room is super ginormous and it comes with its own sink. And then it comes with the restroom down here, has a shower. So like, this is where you can make, you have it as an office, but you can make this a room and it encloses and all this would be one room with the bed with another restroom. Yeah, so this is a huge ass office. I guess you can make this a room like an extra room and then we walk up the stairs i just love this stairway guys look at this this is views right here That's what I'm saying, though, tile. this is views and then this is a whole loft area right here 
I like this. Too, but the other one had legit fridge. Everything goes tight. But this loft area is pretty big too, though. Yeah, this is like another game section. Sundays, football. To be down there. See, I like this. And you have another living room up at the front. See, this is views, guys. This is views. When you walk this way, you do have Bye. more closet storage right here. And then this is the first bedroom. So I would think this would be Serenity's bedroom. And then you have the restroom, which this one comes with a tub, toilet. And then you walk in here and there's two more beds. Oh, then this one would be JJ's because this one's the biggest one. So this one is the biggest, re the biggest room. Yeah. Yeah, so this would be JJ's. Um, Damon and Serenity are closer in age and they play more. So I think I would have both of them together. Like right next to each other. And then this is another room. See, what the only thing that sucks is the master smaller in this one. Yeah, it is smaller. What you could do too, in the attic, you do a little ladder that comes down and make a room upstairs. When you walk this way, I still like that you get all the views you do have like these three cutout holes right here on the wall so it is pretty neat because you could always take a peek see what the kids are doing you know so then you look over here and it is the master bedroom this master bedroom is a little bit on the smaller side but i do feel just like the way this is built is kind of weird because you always mainly have like the bedroom centered right but because of those cutout holes they centered the bed to that yeah, it doesn't make sense. Like you're not even sitting with the TV. No. The restroom has like a vanity too. That's what's cool. But what if what if we were to just put the bed all the way to the corner? You get me? Cause that's how we kind of sleep already. Like all the way this way, it'd still be pretty spacious. I think. You walk in to the restroom and you have the stand up shower right here. I kind of like this way better. I feel like. This vibe is so much cuter when you're taking a bath. Okay, and this is how the restroom over here looks like. Yeah! And then the restroom right there. I think the closet might be a little bigger. And then this is the closet. Oh yeah, for sure this one's a little bit bigger. I don't know, this house is kind of growing on me. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> now doing like a second round on this, how are you feeling about this house? I just feel like, I don't know. You like the more open though, huh? Yeah, I like the house. Then when, it, when you walk in, the house just looks huge. <sighs> I don't know, but this one's kind of going on me. This one's our second home, so we're going to take you guys to our third one right now. We'll see you guys there. Peace. <laughs> She's getting mad because we're leaving. Vete, bebe. ¿Qué? Look how smart she is, guys. <laughs> Soon she's gonna know when she turns around and slides down. Yeah, she's gonna just be sliding down, huh? Bye. <laughs> like that, like, slide, mama. Yeah, there you go. There you go. She's already learning. learning. <laughs> Just from us looking at model home, she's already been freaking learning how to go down the stairs already. <laughs> she's like, don't leave me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay guys so this is the third house this one is two story and this one is the one that we originally fell in love with like when we were before, looking before we saw youtube yeah this was like the one that we wanted before anything because it has a whole mother-in-law quarter yeah. before you, my mom or your mom the first door to the right is a whole mother-in-law quarter it's a mother-in-law quarter inside a house yeah so they have like their own little living room Kitchen area, you could even put a whole refrigerator, and then you have the restroom, which they would get like their own shower. In. Oh, this is oh, look at they even have their own laundry room, yeah, and then legit, a bedroom. A this is what we were thinking about moving my mom or Bo's mom in with us, but this closet would not be big enough for mom and dad. 
I doubt it's big enough for your mom. So this would be so when like Bo pranks me, he makes me that mad. He would be coming to this room right here. You should be in this house. <laughs> and then you go straight. The staircase is right here, which will take you guys up in a little bit. You have a whole area right here. And this would be a perfect area for cute photos. And then you have the living room area. It's decent and then I like this too. I feel like the kitchen is a little bit on the smaller size compared to the other homes we see. Your dining table right here, the kitchen. I like that it still has the stools. And then the sink. The pantry. How does the pantry look? It's cool. Whatever. It doesn't compare to the other house, huh? You have a little powder room right here. So would that be the garage? Yeah. Wait, what the hell? Oh, to tandem. This is an extra room. You can make a three car garage or you can have an extra room. So let's walk back out this way. I don't like that this house doesn't have like that storage under the staircase. No, I thought it did. I know the other one does. Let's walk up the stairs. Oh, this one doesn't have a lock. No. This one's kind of like a split wing when you walk up. So right here is the master bedroom. Oh, there's the master bedroom. See how small this is, guys, compared to the other home? I mean, this master isn't too small. It's actually really small, babe. Laundry room, but you don't get the sink in this one either. I wonder if you'd be able to upgrade that. And then you do get the separate sinks, the tub, the shower, toilet. And then the closet is little. It's not as big as the other ones either. We're gonna take you guys to the next one, which is actually the one that we fell in love with just because the master bedroom is so freaking big. I don't know, the other one, the first one we looked at, I kind of think stuck on that one. The pandemic. You this big. is a fourth house, guys. So we have the staircase going up right here right when you walk in but you do have a formal dining room I love the idea of a formal dining room And then this kitchen See when kitchens are like dark and dark and light it looks nice Hey 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 See I like the closet like this because we have so many freaking toys for the kids that this is something we need. So and then like the pantry. It's a walk-in pantry. Yeah, but, this, I feel like this but I do like the kitchen area. Yeah. I like the stools again right here. And it does have like the entryway to the formal dining room. The living room's not little. That's a big ass freaking what is it called? Those couches? I mean but like the section. Like, this is pretty Decent for like us and the family and then you have access to the backyard And then you have the laundry room right here I would want ideally to have the laundry room with the sink and then you have the restroom With the shower and then right here is basically an office that you can make into a room Yeah So this is a room right here and then now let's walk up upstairs. So we are walking up. And then the first thing you see when you do walk is a loft. Is a loft. So this is a whole ass loft area, which I freaking love. Because yeah. it's like so a living room. A loft, two story. It's basically like a third living room. Yeah, third. Or a second room. Two story, you can't see downstairs. No. Anymore. That's why I'm stuck on the first two story. I really like that one. So right here is the master bedroom. This is what I love. You guys see how huge? It's freaking ginormous. Yeah, this, is this is, look at Serenity. <laughs> look how little she looks in this room. This is what's literally calling my name, guys. It is so big. I go straight to the restroom. Like it's huge. So I do even love the concept of this. Once you enter the restroom right here, you have the two sinks. So one would be Bo and one would be mine. You do get the shower and you get the tub right here. Oh, I like it. <laughs> and then you do get the closet storage right here. That's for like towels and stuff. And then the toilet. 
and the closet is pretty decent like it's not tiny look for the shoes i like this one <laughs> This is huge. Like my vanity would be able to fit in this room and it would still look really spacious. So I like the loft area like this because when the kids are put to bed, me and Bo can have movie night here. Oh yeah, but see this is the one that has- The restroom. JJ would have his own. Bo said he doesn't really like it because then JJ would never come out of his freaking room. Who has a shower and everything. But JJ is already getting to the age where he's gonna want his own privacy. JJ's already 10, guys, so by the years he's a teenager. Yeah, he's gonna be a teenager soon, so this would be JJ's room. He has a little walk in closet. Shit, that closet's like as big as one we got now. <laughs> it is. This is actually the size closet we have now. It has its own little shower, toilet, sink, and earthing. I like this house. And then this one is a bedroom right here with a walk-in closet. Yeah, I mean, this first room is big. Look, it has his and hers. It would be Serenity, Serenity size baby. And then Serenity and Damien right here will be sharing this restroom. It has a shower, a toilet, and then this is more storage. So It'll this room here. does have another walk-in closet, and this is a third bedroom up here. I'm between this one and the previous two-story, not the one that we just showed you before this house, but the second house. I'm between the second house and this fourth house. Well, the first two and this one. For sure, huh? And then there's a custom one, too, on the whole other side of town. Yeah. Ooh, legit custom built from the floor up. Like yep. Everything complete custom. Hey guys, so we are back home and well, Bo had to go to practice and all that with the boys, so yeah. I went and got me a massage with my mom. Who was, who touched you? Was some, it a guy? Some girl. Oh, then that's okay. I got that woman's touch. As long as they don't do <laughs> rub up on you. Only, only dude that grew up on you is me. <laughs> don't worry, because I need those mad hands tonight. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we hope that y'all enjoyed house shopping. <laughs> okay, get your thumbnails. What are you trying to write put count on my Don't face? Don't be lying. You know you love it all up on your face. Like you? <laughs> all up on your face. <laughs> Anyways, we hope that you guys did enjoy going house shopping with us. We're but like it's not you. official until the new year comes. We're, we're looking to see like options, but we are actually considering a fully custom custom built yeah. home we're not too sure yet what we want to do if we want to go custom or semi-custom yeah that's the main reason. or there's actually a house that i've been my like i've been stuck on it has like 22 acres it's out like all by itself it's i tight. don't know how i feel about that but i told Bo it's worth a try so you guys will be seeing more videos like this every time we go that's like the main reason why Bo hasn't quit his job yet yeah. is because we want to make sure that all we still have right. his yeah all the his income right. that counts it is a process if you guys do buy your home, you guys already know that it's a long process and There's a lot just, of paperwork and a lot of bank statements. It's just it's a lot We are so excited and we're excited for you guys to join us in the process because the process has been gone guys Let us know actually which house was actually your guys' favorite, huh? I One, think the, two, very three, first, four. the very first well the first two are like the biggest like the ones we like the most but I did the first one. It's not a two-story, but the layout. For I sure, like my layout. favorite is the one, two, and then the four. Yeah, number three is like whatever. But, but number the first four. One, the first one, the layout, it just makes the house look so much bigger. But we hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. And if you haven't shopped at Us Always Merch, make sure to do so. Our link is always in the description. Also, too, if you have, make sure to follow us on all social medias. Our hands are listed down below. But before we do completely end this video, our post of shout out goes to... Goes to Jessica Hernandez. Shout out to you. And if you guys do want a future post of shout out, all you have to do is... Please subscribe to our channel, to your post notification, hit the little bell bing and comment show us the love we love you guys and we'll see you guys in our next video deuces